Most iron supplements and tablets dissolve and oxidize in the stomach. This can cause unpleasant and sometimes severe gastrointestinal side effects such as nausea and constipation. Active iron is different. Its unique formula helps to avoid the common side effects and it's clinically proven to provide two times better absorption, helping to increase iron levels by 94%. So yes, you can. Activine is a food supplement and it's suitable to take without consulting your GP. I recommend active iron to those who have low iron or those who are at risk of developing low iron. For example, these can include women with regular periods, pregnant and postnatal women, people who have a restricted diet, so vegetarians, for example, athletes and heavy exercisers. So it depends. There is an inherited condition called hemochromatosis where your iron levels gradually build up over the years. It is rare, but if you have a family history of it or if you're concerned at all, have a chat with your doctor. You'll be able to diagnose this easily through a blood test. People should always follow the instructions on the packaging and never exceed the stated dose unless you've been advised to do so by your doctor, pharmacist or another healthcare professional. Active Iron is a better absorbed iron supplement ranging from 14 to 25 milligrams of iron. 14 milligrams of iron is the recommended daily allowance as set by the regulator, and it's considered to be a safe dose based on a daily intake for an average person. A tolerable upper limit of 45 milligrams of iron has been recommended, and this is based on the tolerability of iron products. So prescription iron has a higher dose of iron and often contains up to 100 milligrams of elemental iron. The issue with high dose iron is that it oxidizes in the gut and as a result is poorly absorbed. As with all prescription medicines, these products are designed to be taken under the supervision of a doctor. They tend to have much higher doses and as such can cause side effects. Doctors would prescribe high dose iron in those who have iron deficiency or those who are at risk of developing iron deficiency. The oxidation and poor absorption from this causes gastrointestinal side effects such as nausea and constipation. Most liquid iron supplements tend to have a much lower dose of iron, which means most people won't tend to have the common side effects. However, they don't provide sufficient iron to increase iron levels. In fact, some only contain up to five milligrams of iron, which is not a sufficient dose to increase your iron levels. Active iron is different. Unlike other oral iron, its whey protein prevents it from oxidation and allows two times better absorption. As a result, active iron is clinically proven to increase iron levels by 94% and it's also gentle on the stomach, helping to prevent gastrointestinal side effects. Menstruation causes blood and iron loss. As a result, one in four women have low iron levels. The most common symptom of low iron is tiredness and fatigue. Active iron is clinically proven to increase iron and energy levels, helping to combat the tiredness and fatigue often experienced throughout the menstrual cycle.